Hi Baz, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Sorry it's a bit late, so we've been trying to get us on uh, the computer. No probs, no probs, we're here now. How are right, you feeling? Well, well I I'm feeling a bit sore, to be truthful. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah, oh, me, especially my calf muscles and my bum muscles are killing. <laughs> I've done more squats than I care to mention. What, more, than, more than in the dancing days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I uh, think that's why why I'm suffering because I like to say I usually dance every week. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I haven't done that for about twelve months now. So, uh, um, well, look, I mean, this session, the sessions with me, are more about you know understanding your mindsets in the right place. That's a big part of it, isn't it? I, you've already said like, um, you know, feeling sore and those things. How have you found that in terms of? You know, psychologically, like mentally, getting well, involved well, I, in this program and yeah, yeah. Well, I, I have no problems because, like they say, with with no pain, there's no gain, as the old lad just says. But um, yeah, I feel good about it because, uh, like I say, I really want to do it. I feel like I'm in the last chance to lose. So if I don't make some like concerted effort now, it may be too late for me because, like, I'm 56. Time, time waits for no man, and I, I've been sat around for the last two years, just thinking about, you no, know, doing exercise. The often the hardest part of any change or any journey is it's not the doing of it itself; it's making the decision. That's the bit where most people stall. You know, they they they, they have ideas, they want to do things, and they know it's going to be hard work, but once they've made the decision to do it, the rest is a lot easier. It doesn't, it doesn't mean it's not hard work, but the decision is the bit that people stall on. Yeah, yeah, well, that that that's, uh, has been my struggle. And, uh, and coming up with the idea for this show has been the motivation for me, because with, with, it, with it being filmed and people now taking an active interest in it, is that if I... If, if I fail, I've let myself down. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? And I don't like. I don't like to fail. Yeah, that's it. You know, one of the big things. A lot of my clients come to me, Bez. You know, I work with a lot of people in the business world, but I also work with a lot of elite sports teams, athletes. And the one thing, one of the main things they get up from working with me is accountability. It's that they know that we're going to be speaking on a regular basis. And I'm going to be challenging them on, look, you said you're going to do this. You said you're going to do that. How's it going? And that accountability that you've got by doing this show, that that is enough to make sure that you don't back out. You don't have an, you know, an easy day or an off week or. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that is, uh, and it is a challenge because it is over uh, three months or however long this, this uh, lockdown goes, goes on. And, uh, I'm hoping, like, at the end of the three months, I see really positive results. Because, like I say, is, um, I've actually lost... My, my main biggest problem is I've lost control of my eating patterns. Because uh, uh, mo most of the time, I, I, I don't eat unhealthily. I eat... When I do eat, eat like, a juice every day, I do uh, apple cider vinegar, uh, turmeric, ginger for my pain every day. Uh, I distill all my warts on. I'm, in one hand, I'm doing all doing a lot, things. yeah. And then on the other hand, I just take the chocolates, cake. Like I've got this unbelievable, out of control sweet tooth. And uh, I was doing some interviews today, and uh, I didn't realise. He said, "Well, is your belly? Is it a hard belly or a soft belly?" And I've got uh, a hard round belly. Which apparently is the worst fat. It's uh, what sort of fat is it? Visceral, isn't it? Is it called? Visceral, yeah, fat. Yeah, visceral, yeah. Which is apparently the worst fat, but the easiest. Luckily, I've read it's the easiest to get rid of. So I hope, I hope there's some truth in that anyway. Yeah. But I've got this rock hard, big round belly, what looks like a blancmange. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so if you got a, really likes to see the back off. 
Yeah, just have a vision mess of, of that um, of that blancmange just shrinking in size, becoming a little a little mini trifle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, that would that would be like for me, and also to uh, regain my fitness, because right through all my life I've depended on uh, my natural uh, what's what's it called? Not not uh, fitness, but I've always had a high high energy metabolism and metabolism, yeah. yeah. And uh, like 756 now, it's obviously slow right down. I can't rely on that happening naturally anymore. Oh, well, look, you've, you've already made a start, haven't you? And that's the, like you say, it's the most crucial step. Now it's about keeping the momentum going. Yeah, yeah, well, that 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 is the one now. I, I, but because I've set this challenge over the three months and with it being filmed over the three months, I'm hoping that's going to be the motivation, what I need to keep it going. And like I say, and, um, that I've, I've felt so good after, after doing this exercise, you know, the, the feel-good factor are after finishing it. And if I can get that feeling uh, to be continuous, where it makes me feel so much better f about myself, then uh, it's going to be a great start. Because another one of the issues, what... Uh, what people talk about with the lockdown is the mental health issues, and 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 and, and I think the exercise, like I say, the feeling I've got of well-being after you no know, finishing that session, it, it, I can see why you no know, people say you got to exercise to 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 help, help you with your your mental well-being because it definitely did get the endorphins running. I felt like a rush of like goodness running through my body so yeah uh, I, I think you know I, I i well i hope i can do it i don't let i don't i uh, don't let the side down yeah no i'm sure you won't and look you've got enough people um on your team on your side now just you know not just cheering you on but supporting you like me now one of the things i was just, just going to say to you then bez is um i think the the thing is is that what you've already talked about there is that, you know, there's biochemical uh, benefits to exercise in that it releases endorphins in your brain, so it floods your body. The thing is, and, and I'm glad that, you know, we're getting the opportunity to do this and hopefully those people are watching can listen and get some of the ideas too. The, often what our brain does when it comes to any sort of change, especially people exercising, is that, People want to, you know, they don't like to step outside the comfort zone. We're all yeah. creatures of comfort, aren't we? So when we've got to do something that's different or hard, you know, naturally our mind wants to stop us from doing it. Yeah. And what you've said there about mental health during the lockdown, I'm hoping and I'm sure that this show is going to have a positive ripple effect and a lot of people watching, it will inspire them because people need that. But a big thing, and hopefully we'll, one of the good things that will come out of this pandemic is people getting out in nature more, people exercising more, and re you know receiving all the benefits that you're starting to feel now. And this show, and you will be one of the inspirations for that change. What advice do you give with someone who's, um, so, say, coming up from back from injury and, and they're not feeling confident? Do you, do you advise in that area? Because... I can imagine people that be worried about, you know, like aggravating an old injury, uh, you know, shying off from maybe a tackle or a punch or whatever. There's a few things here which is interesting. And I think, again, it relates to anybody that's had injuries or reoccurring things. The first step is you've got to control your mind because, like I say before, the mind always wants to avoid pain. It wants to seek out comfort and safety. It doesn't want to go into... So if we have a negative experience or a bad injury or trauma in some way, then the brain will recall that and remember it really vividly. So the very first step is, look, you've got to make sure that physically, you know, the, the sports people I work with, they've got the, the best of the best in terms of physiotherapy and rehabilitation. So they've got incredible support. But right. as long as it, th that box has been ticked, and physically they've been told they're okay. The next bit is the mental barrier. So part of one of the things that we work on is the mental rehearsal of remembering what it's like to go out and go through, you know, go into a hard tackle or a hard challenge or put yourself 
on the line physically and actually remembering the brain, training the brain to recall what that's like. So you can actually, even if you're not physically active, you can prepare your body to be physically active just by mental rehearsal. So using the yeah, mind yeah. in the right way is really important because as you, you know, as we all know in life, if you don't train your mind to think in a certain way, fears creep in, doubts creep in, we're all our own worst critic. Uh, well, it's, I suppose it's like uh, when you're a boxer or something like that, and you've got a, you know, you imagine taking the punch, feeling the pain, getting that mental rehearsal of getting hit, because that's got to be such a shock to your body. And I suppose you've got to mentally prepare yourself for, for, for well, going going into the Warriors arena and yeah. and going out there and, and having to do what you've got to do. I suppose it's the same sort of thing, really. It is, yeah, it is. It's getting your mind ready. Now, listen to this on that. I worked with a boxer once. Um, I won't mention his name. And he would only fully switch on in a fight when he got hit hard or knocked down right now that is no good is it in boxing because if oh, no, that, no. that one punch could put you out of the fight right yeah, yeah so we had to work on well firstly that if you need that to to switch you on that's not a healthy trigger because you're gonna you're gonna lose more than you'll win so how do we train you to get that mindset from the very bell from the bell when the bell rings not to not to wait for that trigger from when you get hit really hard in the face and, oh, yeah. and sometimes it's like that in fitness, in exercise for people, is that, you know, we often wait until it's too late or, you know, we our health or something gets in a really bad state until we make a change. You know, it's like that classic, uh, you see celebrity stories all the time of they go, somebody goes on holiday and then the press put pictures of them in the paper and they're looking massively out of shape and they're embarrassed because it's in the national <laughs> paper. They see the pictures and yeah, suddenly, yeah, yeah. suddenly they're motivated and six months later, they've got a fitness video out, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because that one moment was enough to make them force, you know, to, to be so embarrassed and have to change. Well, and, that, that, okay, sorry to put in there, Matty, but... Uh, that, it's funny you should say that because that is one of the things I actually did to myself. I was really cruel. I got my belly out on the camera. <laughs> so I like it could live with me forever, that picture, you know what I mean? But getting in and showing my belly off like that was like one, it's more motivating me. Yeah. So, so I can get my belly out and show that I've, you know, I've actually done it. What you've got now, but you've got that accountability now because people are winding you up. And so, you know, often sometimes that's healthy, sometimes it's not. But at least what you you can laugh about it, but you can it's important that you channel it. You know, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, people in the public eye, people in, you know, professional sport, uh, people like yourself, when you get the public eye on you, you, there's nothing you can do about that. That's the arena you're in you're going to get that attention. The important thing is, is whatever form that feedback comes in, that you turn it into something that works for you, rather than, a lot of the time, it's tough, isn't it, with social media and things, you know, people's mental health now, they live in social, they live on social media, and, you know, it's full of keyboard warriors and people that are just hiding behind the screen, and they'll say anything. And if you let that stuff affect you, if you can't control and turn that around for yourself in your mind, you're literally at the mercy of what other people say, and they're just hiding yeah. behind a keyboard. Yeah, and there's a lot of like cruel people out there who like like revel in that sort of behaviour. Really, you know what I mean? Instead of offering mankind encouragement and guidance, they rather say you're apart. Well, over it. it, yeah, very sad but true, but but it's easier, isn't it, to, to if you if you feel low about yourself it's easier to tear someone else down to bring them down to your level than it is to put the work in you know the, the work the time the effort the energy to actually raise your own standard that's hard work but it's easy just to have a dig at someone got any other words of advice to give me yeah big big one for you in fact I, 
we'll follow up on this, Bez, but I've got a, a very simple three-step formula for you, and I call it the yeah. ABC formula, right? A, um, B, C. Exactly. It's, it's easy. It's, it's easy. That. As easy as A, B, C. So it's, it should stay in your brain, right? So the, the A stands for attention. So what right. that mean, What I mean by that is be careful what you focus on because when, you, when you're coming up to something that's hard work, I'm sure you're going to do days and days and days and your body's going to get more sore and you're going to have days where, you know, you've got to be, you've got to be realistic and accept the situation. You're not going to want to keep working and you're going to lose motivation. That's normal. The important thing there is you control what you focus on, right? Oh, yeah. So that for you, you're focusing on why you're doing this program. You focus on the end result. So make sure yeah. you always focus as much as possible. Remind yourself every day of the end result and the reason why you're doing it. And that, that will help you keep the drive and the energy to keep going. Yeah, yeah. The B stands for behavior. And that's just all about re the, the thing that will help you the most is understanding your routine. So getting into a routine with the things that you're doing, because the more you practice it after, after two months, it will start to become habitual and then it will become a lot easier. But in the first six to eight weeks, that's yeah, yeah, where yeah. you need you need to remind yourself every day because our brains are just, we're, we're all creatures of habit. So you reckon after six weeks, it will just come habit forming, like part of your daily routine? Six like to eight weeks. Brushing your teeth almost. Well, not maybe not quite as much as brushing our, if, if, <laughs> if we brush our teeth every day. But <laughs> no, the research the research around habits for something we do daily um, says about sixty six days until something becomes a habit. So I think what once you're six to eight weeks in, then it will really start. But look, you you can break that down in in the very first stages. You get through the first day, then you get through the first week. Then you get through week two. And, and before you know it, you've got momentum, momentum. You know, every day that goes by that you apply yourself, you'll feel better. Maybe not physically all the time because it's hard work, but mentally you will. And it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, that momentum will keep you going. That's what one of the things I'm hoping for, that um, it's not just for the three months. Uh, it'll, it'll be a continuation in, into my daily life and something I do. No, what and I, look, I that, know. That, that is absolutely, you know, a realistic goal to have. And, and you'll be amazed at the momentum you build. And to do that, you need number three, which is the C, which stands for commentary. And what I mean by commentary is it's the voice inside your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The so how dialogue, I call it. The internal dialogue. Fancy. That's a fancy <laughs> term. Yeah. The, but we, we all have the voice in our head, don't we, Bez? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah? Um, yeah, no, yeah I, I'm always battling with the internal dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone I've ever met is is always battling with the internal dialogue, including myself. The important thing is is to be aware of it and you know speak to yourself, like yeah. ha, you know have a conversation with yourself in in the in the way to keep you going. You know, be, I, and I I call this in terms of we all have an inner critic, right? Everyone's got the inner critic, the voice that says, you're not good enough, you're, you're tired, have a day off, have a rest. Oh, it's getting hard, this, it's difficult. Everyone's got that inner critic, right? The important thing is we've got to train ourselves to have an inner coach. And oh, yeah. the inner coach is not, oh, it's not, it's not a cheerleader. So it's not someone that's telling you, you know, like some people think that's a bit Americanized. It's a bit too, you know, fluffy and oh you're brilliant you're awesome that isn't the for me a good coach will tell you the truth but they'll also pat you on the back when you've done a good job yeah, yeah, and they'll yeah. tell you the truth when you're not doing a good job and so to be that in it you know that's an important one i think for you over the next um few days and next couple of weeks until we speak again is be your own coach i've got to thank you for all that advice marty I've took all Pleasure. that on board and uh, I really look forward to talking to you again. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to hearing about your progress. Yeah, yeah, and just uh, one thing is because, is, like I say, I've not exercised for so long. I'm, I'm 56 now. 
is it still possible for a man of my age to regain that muscle strength, bone strength, you no, know, and return to like a more you no know, youthful mindset and body? Do you think, think? Do you think it can be done, or is it is it unlikely to happen? I absolutely think it can be done, and the most important thing is you believe and think it can be done. Um, and, here, and if you want an example of it, Bez, I read about this lady. I think she's called Lady Madonna, and she took up tri took up running. I think in her late fifties or sixty, and she was running triathlons into her eighties, and oh, she shit, only. Wow. She only took up running in her late fifties, right? So, so there are, oh yeah, well that's all the. There you go. ID, so, so there are examples. People. Yeah, there are examples everywhere. So yes, yeah. you can. You've just got to keep reminding yourself that you can. You listen. You're going to have days where your brain says, "Oh no, I can't. I'm too old for this." You've just got to get that voice out your head and remind yourself. Wait a minute. Other people have done it. I can do it. Thanks for talking to me, Martin. I really appreciate your words of wisdom there. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, like I say, oh, the, the next time I speak to you, if I'm feeling like down, quitting, you'll sort me out of it. Oh, well, and, in, and, uh, in the meantime, you do that for yourself. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, all. That, you, you, just, you just do that. You try, like, just practice that being your own inner coach and keeping yourself inspired. And, well, the um, ABC. The AB, simple as ABC. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember the ABC, right? Yeah, brilliant. All right, well, thanks a lot, Martin. Um, man. And thanks for talking to me. It's a pleasure. Pleasure um, to be involved. <laughs> nice one, mate.